much for that beautiful story. Now, in more news, as 2018 draws to a close, farmers have to continue producing food for the population. Now, although 68% of the 34 million Ugandans depend on agriculture, there is less output due to poor farming practices. The soils are also seemingly exhausted. But research shows that earthworms can be used to produce more food, reduce dependency on synthetic chemicals, and soil degradation. Every time a farmer goes to the garden to work on the weeds, the next stage is burning the grass. But like application of synthetic weed killers, burning grass kills microorganisms in the soil. Yield from the gardens has declined due to soil overuse. The onus is to return to farming methods that are environmental friendly, natural, good yields without harming human health. We must be mindful of sustainable land management. And land management includes natural resources. Natural resources specifically that must be taken care of are the soils must be maintained, the water must be maintained. But what is common today is the term organically grown foods. They are grown in soil free of synthetic fertilizers. However, food can be produced using compost, farm manure, and the other method is using biological intensive nutrient management or vermicompost. Vermiculture is a method of making compost with the use of earthworms, which generally live in the soil, eat biomass, and excrete it in a digested form. Soil has three components potassium phosphorus and nitrogen. Research shows that the mineral components in vermicompost are higher than in farmyard manure and bacterial compost. At this place, the small-scale farmer breeds earthworms in broken basins using animal or poultry waste, waters the waste which produces a liquid, uses it to water or spray citrus fruits, strawberry or vegetables. This garden of collards was planted with vermicompost and watered with the liquid obtained from the vermiculture. We collect animal or poultry waste. This process is really taxing. But actually what we are interested in is the end product, which is good for our crops. This process is possible with food, poultry or animal waste. Earthworms belong to Philam anelida of Animal Kingdom. They are long and cylindrical in shape and size, having a large number of grooves. There are about 3,000 species of earthworms in the world, which are adapted to a range of environment. Earthworms are hermaphrodite. Two mature earthworms are required to propagate. Vermicompost can be applied in any crop, although it would be advisable to mix it with soil. Vermicompost is a rich source of nutrients, vitamins, enzymes, antibiotics, and growth hormones. So, it gives disease resistance to plants. This tomato plant has not been sprayed with synthetic chemicals since it was planted. It was planted with vermicompost and maintained with vermiculture wetting. Nutrient content of vermicompost is higher than traditional compost. It is a valuable soil Amendment. So to increase productivity, don't look at crops. You have to look at animals, fish, poultry, and other aspects. Because if you have, you have increased productivity, it means you have more food to eat, you are food secure, and secondly, you are going to sell the surplus so that you have income. This is a valuable tip as farmers enter 2019. Abiona Francisco, UBC News. I'm not going to